Hi everyone, I'm Spell, welcome to the channel. Uh, no, this is not my bike yet. Uh, this is on the same day that I did the second uh, test ride uh, on the Sports Glide. And, um, you know, I thought hmm, I could do a nice uh, video with, uh, with uh, this machine whilst I'm uh, riding uh, home, uh, home uh, to the dealership. Um, and uh, what shall we talk about today? I think that it is easy. It is an easy thing to decide. And I think we are going to talk about, well, I'm um, saying goodbye to, uh, to Lilith. Probably by the time you've seen this video, I would have put the uh, deposit down for, um, for the bike. Um, I'm recording this, what is this day? 25th of, um, of August and you know there is like a uh, lot of video from, videos from the Azores that we'll be seeing and all that and then some other rides here and there in Scotland so yeah you might be seeing this in uh, October, November or something uh, along those lines which means effectively it means that uh, most likely I don't have Lilith anymore because I'm actually um, putting a hub for sale um, next week actually as we speak I have to go home to uh, prepare some of uh, the aftermarket uh, accessories I have uh, to be sold. Some are already um, on, uh, on, uh, on Facebook groups and all that and most likely they are sold already. Um, so just need uh, the other ones uh, to put it, uh, pictures and all that on, the, on, the, on the Facebook and get that sold. Yeah, so um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna miss Lilith. Oh yes, uh, it's not the bike I really, really, really wanted. You know, I always wanted was like an Harley or you know something like that. And yeah, Lilith is not is not that bike. She's not that bike at all. But she's a she's a very nice and decent bike. To be fair, I had lots of fun lots of fun with uh, with her uh, lots of memories that's what you do on the motorcycle is you make memories you go out have a nice adventure uh, and all discover new places new roads and uh, yeah I would never forget um, the road the awesome scenery that uh, Lilith uh, allowed me to uh, to know and to discover but you know time time has come to um, to sell her she knew she knew the time would come anyway But I want to believe that I treated her nicely That she had a very good uh, life <laughs> with me And to be fair, I had a cracking time with her It was about almost three years That we spent together so yeah, there were lots of things that I liked about uh, the Vulcanas and uh, I'll, I'll go over some of them. I'll probably be, uh, be missing uh, lots of, of other things too. But yeah, I mean, I, I like the right position that I had on, on, uh, on Lilith. Um, my arms was actually, I think, uh, slightly higher than, uh, than this one's. And I did enjoy having the speedometer uh, there, um, like on handlebars, a bit like a pie. And uh, another thing was the digital uh, speedometer as well, so I could see what uh, speed I was doing very, very easily. Like this ones, I have to look down and 
Uh, no, I actually need to see oh, like 20, 20 something. I never have like a uh, exact uh, reading of the speed I'm doing and on Lilith you see you're doing 31 or 32 or whatever. So that I found that quite cool. Well, the price as well. I think the price is very good. We can never forget that price always plays a, a very important uh, uh, role on deciding white bike you want because let's uh, be honest here we are not all doctors and engineers and things like that you know so we buy whatever we uh, can afford and uh, and that's it and with that in mind I think Lilith uh, or the Vulcan S is great for for the price that it costs and then for what uh, actually delivers you have their very nice um, entry-level cruiser the Vulcan S, you have the looks of a cruiser. There are like things here and there that I don't like, like the headlight, nah, it's a bit meh. Um, but yeah, it looks like a cruiser and you put bags on as I had. That looks awesome. Hey, motorway. Then I'm gonna close this. And you know what? I'm gonna put myself at uh, about 50 miles an hour. Six gear. And engage cruise control. Bang. Done. Aha. So as I was saying, yeah, it is um it is a very nice looking cruiser-ish. I know you don't have the sound of a cruiser. It is not what you would expect and when you see that bike you expect uh, a mean uh, V-twin sound like that deep rumble but yeah you, you don't get that um, but I know, uh, it is what it is but regardless of that it's still a very nice um, engine I mean, it's bulletproof, basically. Yeah, but then there were other things like the rider seat and the pillion seat. They were not that comfortable at all. They are not that comfortable. But you know what? For what we pay, I mean, you can't, you can't really complain that much. You can't really expect to have the perfect bike for that kind of money. And to be fair, no bike is uh, is perfect. Even if you pay 16, as it is the case of uh, this uh, Sports Glide, or you pay 21, 5, 30k, whatever, there will always be things here and there that will not be ideal for you. One thing that will be perfect for you, then for another person, will not be uh, that nice, you know. So um, yeah, but uh, I, I did I did a few things on uh, on Lila to try and uh, and correct uh, the the issues that I had uh, with the bike, uh, the seats, uh, the um, the comfort with the uh, with the pegs. I put some uh, uh, floorboards by DHG. Right, the headlight on the front that was absolutely shocking. <laughs> Was terrible, so I put some LED there. So yeah, it is a mix of things that I liked and I didn't like about uh, about the bike. Of course, like being uh, chain driven or oh, the clean and loop every time is a bloody nightmare. But you know, it is what it is. And I tried and did my best to loop and uh, and clean the chain whenever it was needed but anyway i mean if you want to um to know more like the things i really didn't like and the things i did uh, really like about the the vulcan s you can see here on top uh, the videos of the things i did like and another video of the things i did not like and you can also see the videos review of uh, of Lilith uh, did two of them but anyway Lilith didn't really give me uh, much problems to be fair she always behaved quite nicely uh, well I had to change the tires of course I mean that's 
to be expected anyway so oils and all that everything was done by uh by Kawasaki of course everything was done by by the dealer I recently had the uh, brake pads front and uh, back uh, replaced and uh, the front uh, disc as well it was warped uh, for some reason I don't know how it happened but it did so I got that replaced uh, as well other than that she always worked quite nicely I cannot fault her at all and we are getting here that's our exit to go and deliver this beautiful machine But yeah, great times I spent with Lilith and uh, I don't know, if you are thinking about getting one, go and test ride one yourself. I'm sure I don't know, you, will, you will like it, but I don't know, even if you don't, then at least you know, yeah, it is not like the bike for you, for example. At least you get that uh, experience and you get to decide, to decide and make the, the best decision based on uh, oh, some experience already and that's exactly what I'm doing here I don't know what bike I'm getting which one I want to get uh, so that's why I'm uh, test riding this uh, beautiful machine right everyone uh, this was meant to be just a, a quick uh, a quick vlog um, so that's Harley Davidson right here. So I just want to say, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, you know, if if your dream evolves getting one of these uh, awesome machines, just go for it. Work for your for your dreams whilst you are alive. Because you know, you never know when uh, your time comes. Hopefully, it will take a long time. Right everyone, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Ride safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon on one of these bikes maybe. Who knows? Oh, or maybe on a fat boy. Mmm, decision decisions.